Hello everyone, welcome back to another Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0 video series and this video is to answer your question what's the difference between it and Tab 3 and iPad mini so that's why I bring in this iPad mini so we can take a look side by side and you make your own decision so about the design, uh, the mini has a 7.9 LED display and the Tab 3 has an 8.0 SC LCD display um, but the iPad mini is a little wider. They both have a front face camera, 1.3 megapixel for video chatting or you can take your own picture by yourself. And they both have a home button, but the tab three has two more buttons on both sides, one for the back buttons and the other one for more option. So about the techniques, um, they're pretty much identical, uh, slightly different, but not noticeable. Um, but the, uh, um, the screen ratios are definitely different. You can see that the iPad mini is a lot wider. They both have the USB uh, port on the bottom with the speakers on both sides. The Tab 3 has the extra infrared blaster for a universal remote control and they both have the volume control and the uh, power buttons. Um, here is the uh, headphone jacks and the iPad mini has the microphone right in the center on the top and the Tab 3 has it on the corner. Um, on this side uh, the Tab 3 has a micro SD card slot so you can extend your memory up to 64 gigs. Okay, so to be honest, the weight is about the same, about 11 ounces. Um, other than that, they both started with 60 gigs internal memory, but again, the Tab 3 can extend a lot more with the micro SD card. About the processor speed, uh, the iPad mini, it came with a A5 chip, 1 GHz dual core, and the Tab 3 comes with a 1.5 GHz dual core as well, so they both have dual core. Uh, tab 3 is a little faster, um, so right now I'm just kind of waiting for these two to boot up. Um, just a little correction uh, that the iPad mini only have the 1.2 megapixel for the face for the front face camera and the Tab 3 is at 1.3 megapixel, a little bit different. Okay, let's see which one's going to be ready for Oh, so the Samsung Galaxy Tab is ready first. Um, and then the iPad mini just less than a second right after. Anyway, so about the resolution, the mini has 163 ppi and the Tab 3 has a 189 ppi. Not really a significant big difference, but about you know it looks fabulous on both units, and and the touch screen is extremely responsive on both units. Um, there's no lagging at all, as I can see. So the iPad Mini doesn't have the uh, home screen, but the uh, the Tab 3 does have the home screen with more customization. So the notification bar of the iPad Mini looks quite simple compared to the the Tab 3. Um, about the screen rotation, um, that looks pretty much identical. I think the, the Tab 3 is a little slow, very little bit slower. I can't even notice that. And so to be fair in this video, I turn all the settings of both units to the max level, including the brightness, volumes, and they are both in the same Wi-Fi condition, so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Um, so now let's load up this game called uh, Temple Run. And iPad mini finish up first, uh, which is awesome. And the Tab 3 finish right after. Uh, I can see right now the Tab 3 is richer in the color compared to iPad mini. But you know, different tablet load things differently, right? So you can't really blame each of them. Uh, anyway, about the typing experiences, um, they're both very awesome, very responsive. Touching is amazing, um, but the uh, Tab 3 has the numeric keyboards right on top for, for your convenience, and they are both have the uh, voice command. Um, you can just speak a word. Now let's test the voice command. Did you know the iPad Mini has the series and the Tab 3 has the S voice? Closest to Apple Store. Stores a little ways from here. Wow, they're really competing, huh? Hi, Galaxy. Where am I? You're near 8284 Marine Drive. That's really close to where I live. Um, and the Tab 3 turns on the Google Maps where you can point the application. So now, this is one of the key features that the Tab 3 really helped 
the user uh, in multitasking. That is the multi window uh, that you know allows you to pull up different apps uh, at the same time. Maximum is two, and you can you know adjust the location, the sizes of each window. But the iPad Mini doesn't allow you to do so. Okay, about the camera, um, they both have the five megapixel rear camera. Um, with the iPad Mini, then the menu looks a bit simple. Uh, it's allowed to take picture, autofocus, video, things like that, but it doesn't have different mode for you to choose from. Um, I'm gonna show you different pictures later, uh, right after this. The autofocus is really responsive as well. It's quick autofocus, AF mode. And the top three, really innovative. I'm gonna show you this real quick. Let's go to camera. The top three lets you take picture by seeing a voice command that are preset already, like this. Capture. And it'll take pictures. Um, same thing happens with the uh, video recording. Also, it comes in with different modes for you to choose from, like auto mode, um, panoramic, night mode, uh, sport mode. I'm going to show you where you can find those uh, voice commands. You're allowed to say uh, smile, cheese, um, capture, shoot, and then record videos. Make sure you say clear and loud. Okay, so this is the picture from the Tab 3. It looks a little bit light. And then this is from the iPad Mini. Okay, so a lot of people use the tablet for uh, YouTube streaming. So this is what I see that the Tab 3 jump straight to a full screen viewing when you turn you know rotate a screen and this is one of my favorite videos okay right, we're going to stop this um, and then the iPad mini um, you have to really press the expand windows so you can go to the uh, full screen viewing but about the experience they are both uh, have the same quality um, so really no complaint about that. So let's do some network testing on both sides. And again, they are both right now in the same Wi-Fi condition. I'm just going to fast forward this right now. It takes a lot longer than what you think. At the end, the top three score more significant. But anyway, so again, it all comes down to your reference to choose an iPad mini or Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 8.0 but they're right now available at a competitive prices um, so make sure you guys leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe I'll see you guys soon